what's up welcome to my channel my name is Matias I'm a consultant and today we're gonna go over my affordable desk for maximum productivity still need to figure out the name but yeah this is my cheap desk setup enjoy my desk has gone through a bunch of changes from where it is now to where it was one year ago for the past year I spent most of my time in my house and on my desk Working from 8 to 6, scripting, editing, doing YouTube work, producing, well not lately, you name it. Because this is the setup I can afford right now, and the setup where I spend at least 40% of my week, I feel that it's important, that it feels comfortable and pleasant. My desk actually never looks this clean, it usually looks like this. These two laptops, one is from my company and the other one from the client. I have three notebooks on my desk. My bullet journal, my work notes where I plan my things to do on that day or I write things for my week, and my brain dump where I just dump whatever thought I have in the moment which I cannot get off my head which usually ends up being a YouTube idea. There are three things I go for my desk. Aesthetics, ergonomics and productivity. Everything in this desk has a purpose. If it's not because it makes me more productive, then it's here because I like it. And that's how I'm going to keep it. Because I'm old enough to buy things I like and don't need. I'm sorry, mom. Let's start off with the desk. I got quite lucky as my employer gave me this standing desk. It's a previous update from my previous IKEA one. And that one was smaller and manual, which was tedious. Well, this one works with the touch of a button, which makes it easier to take me from standing to sitting position. What I like about this desk is the black design of the legs and the wood, which makes it aesthetically pleasant to the eye. The computer I use is the Mac Mini M1 500GB and 16 RAM. I like the minimalistic aesthetic it has, while still being powerful enough to produce music, which I don't normally do and edit videos while making zero sound. To keep myself comfortable while sitting most of my day, I use this chair which has various functions where you can ergonomically adapt it to your needs. Oh, it also bends back and is comfortable for taking naps, but I cannot verify or deny that. To keep my working all day, I have this Dell screen provided by my employer. The desk is a 24 or 27 inch, not sure. Dell with HDMI input as well as DVI to keep everything illuminated both during the day and in winter and in the evening I have the desk lamp which provides light in three different colors warm, color and neutral I think it's called like that and I'm not sure next to it I have the camera because my Mac mini doesn't have camera which is sometimes not handy to keep everything together I have this screen arm which should be nicer than it actually looks. For keyboard and mouse I have this Logitech keyboard you can buy for like 20 bucks off Amazon and this mouse which was given by my employer to a Dell. It sits nicely under this mouse pad, ergonomically of course. Since I used to produce I have this audio interface which has become in handy to plug in microphones, speakers and headphones and only having to connect one USB to the laptop. Furthermore, when I'm not using it, the headphone sits on this beautiful headstand I bought off AliExpress a while back. And the microphone is actually my fiancé and I mostly use it for voiceovers like this one. As I mentioned before, I have things here that just look nice, like this dwarf giving the middle finger and this plant which I bought to bring some life to this deadly desk. Last but not least, my custom engraved pen, which I use to write everything and I got from my fiancé for my graduation, as well as my iPad and Apple Pencil, which I use to make videos and subscribe to channels like you should be doing. The more time I spend on my desk, the more I think of improving this setup both aesthetically and ergonomically without having to spend my life savings, my wallet or what I eat on a daily basis. If you like the video, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel to see more of my content and if you have any questions, please write it in the comments down below, I'll try my best to answer them. That's it for this video, I'll see you on the next one, peace out!